welcome to another Fashion Friday video. Uh, my name's Chelsea, I'm 24 years old and I live in Darwin, Australia. And this week's Fashion Friday is going to be a bit of a haul. So if you saw my last fashion video, you know that I did a massive closet clean out. Part of the reason I did that was because I had a few orders of new clothes coming for the new season. Um, so I did a bit of a shop. I've got some pieces from Princess Polly and a few pieces from White Fox. I do just want to give you a quick background on the weather here, which seems super random, but obviously in the Northern Hemisphere, you guys are going into spring, whereas down here in Australia, we are going into autumn. Darwin is very unique in the way that this time of year kind of feels like spring, but also autumn. It doesn't get that cold. Um, it does get drier. It's called the dry season. We basically get between an average of 19 to 28 degrees. So it really doesn't get cold at all. We're lucky if it drops below 20 like a few days out of the year. So I do have some cold weather pieces. I am going to be doing some traveling um, to Melbourne and Adelaide and potentially Sydney this year during winter. So I am going to get a reason to wear some of these more heavy duty stuff. Um, but just keep in mind that for me, spring slash autumn is not really very very cold at all so yeah before we get into this video make sure you give it a like and subscribe to my channel i do fashion friday videos every friday i also weekly vlog every single week and upload those on a tuesday or a wednesday so so without further ado let's get into the pieces um we'll start with princess polly because it's closest to me and then we'll end up with white fox over on this side the first piece that i got is this leather jacket oh my god i'm obsessed now this is one of those pieces where obviously i'm I'm not gonna get the chance to wear here that much because there's like it's heavy I need two coat hangers on it because it's literally so heavy um, but I'm obsessed this is definitely gonna be the one that comes with me to Melbourne and probably Adelaide too um, it's really heavy it's actually from the lioness brand at Princess Polly but it's gorgeous it's cropped but it literally it sits like just above my hip and for me who wears high-waisted everything it's perfect length um, so I really love it it's actually got black hardware I was looking for one with silver, but it actually has like black matte buttons, which I like instead, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to style with this a little bit, even though I may not get to wear it here. I'm definitely going to do some videos styling this jacket. Next up, I got two pieces of denim. So the first thing I got was these jeans. These are the Holly asymmetric jeans. So they have sort of the diagonal crisscross button situation and I actually wore these for a content day yesterday and they're perfect they're beautiful so flattering so comfy I love the wash of them I feel like they're a perfect wash yeah and the cut of them just really suit me I have a very curvy figure like I'm quite small but I'm also curvy at the same time so yeah I really love these I am um, just for reference I'm usually a size 10 or a medium everything here is a 10 slash medium the princess Polly stuff I have tried on I only got the white fox parcel literally like an hour ago so I haven't tried any of that on yet um, but when I film the try on clips if anything needs adjusting I'll be sure to let you know the next pair of denim I got was actually a midi skirt which I'm really excited for I've seen a lot of people styling with these this season it's definitely a bit of a trendy piece, but I love it. Again, I think this is almost the same wash as the jeans, but it has a split sort of off to the side, and it is so cute. This one specifically, I think, is meant to be worn low-waisted um, because it kind of doesn't really cinch in very much. So I do have to wear a belt with it because I'm not really a low-waisted girly, and I might even potentially get it tailored just to fit my waist a little bit better. So yeah, this is a trendy piece, and I will be filming one of my five ways to style videos So with this skirt. So keep an eye out for that. That probably won't be for a little while um but yeah very much obsessed with this skirt as well and the last thing i got from princess polly was this dress this is so just pretty like this is probably one of the girliest dresses i've ever had and it's so pretty it is strapless this is one of their oscar mini dresses so it's got the like exposed stitching sort of wrapping its way down the dress um it's a short one it's beautiful and it has this lovely pattern on it so it's got like little flowers blue and pink flowers and their stems on it it's also really comfortable which is great um that was everything from princess polly i did a little shop from there a little while ago and i included that mini haul in my weekly vlog from back then um so i sort of went pretty small on princess polly this season or this time i did get a few things last time so bear that in mind for princess polly i love their stuff i purchase from there all the time okay moving on to white fox i did a big basics haul when I did my closet clean out I kind of realized that I am really short on basics I have a lot of basic black tops but I have almost no white ones so I picked up a lot of white basics which I'm excited about the first of those is this full-length white t-shirt it's kind of a slinky material it's a short sleeve t-shirt 
high neck so it'd be similar to the cut of this but full length um, and yeah I really like this the material feels nice but as I said I haven't tried any of these on yet I also got pretty much the exact same shirt but in a long sleeve this one I sort of got to go with me to Melbourne and whatnot so I've just got a bit more of a long sleeved option while I'm there um, but yeah they're basically the exact same shirt the hem around the top there is a little bit different but overall very similar I don't have any white long sleeve tops and I, on I only have cropped white t-shirts um, I'm sort of falling out of love with the white crop top vibe I a super crop top looks good like a really crop one but ones that sort of fall to my hip doesn't really suit me very well so I think I'm slowly learning more about like what my style is and how my body shape works with different clothes so I have picked up a couple of these fuller length ones to see how they go with my body type. Next up is this bodysuit. So this one has a little bit of a curved neckline. Obviously this one is like a spaghetti strap style. And I really liked that it was a play suit. I just feel like this is going to be really cute. It is like really, really minimal cut at the back, which is great. It means like you won't be able to see it through your pants or anything like that. Um, so yeah, this one is just another really nice basic. I've been looking for a full length white top that's like this and this is the closest thing I could find so I thought as a play suit it could be fun anyway but yeah I was actually looking for just a tank top version of this so if you know of any good ones please do let me know in the comments down below and then the last white basic I got from White Fox is this crop top I know what I just said about crop tops but this one's super cropped and it has like a upwards cut right here you can kind of see there you'll see it in the try on clips um, I've seen this styled on a lot of people and I really have been eyeing it off for ages I think it's a great basic and that the really minimal cut is going to be really flattering for me I like the high neck but I like that it's a short crop um, so yeah I definitely am keen to style this one this is obviously a bit more of a Darwin piece because it is very minimal the next piece from White Fox is this little number this isn't really what I was expecting it to be like the material is just different to what I was expecting but I think it's still gonna work um, but it's the color is just so cute right now it's higher in the back than I was expecting I kind of thought it was gonna be like straps but I don't know we'll try it on and see how it looks this one I sort of had this vision of this with my leather pants and my pink heels and I just thought it would be such a vibe so this is sort of I have Melbourne in mind for this my friends and I are having a night out while we're there which is gonna be fun um, but because it's gonna be cooler I thought uh, long pants would be a good idea so I thought this would work to go with them um, but yeah this is really cute I'm a big fan I hope it looks good on because uh, like I said it's not quite cut how I was expecting it to um, but I only looked at the key photo and I didn't swipe through so that's probably my own fault alright next I got this bolero I've been looking for just a white one I have a beige one and I haven't been able to find just a normal white one so I did pick this one up from White Fox. It's your very standard basic bolero. I think this with the Princess Polly dress would be, oops, with this could be really, really cute. Um, and just this with like jeans and a tank top is just such a vibe. Then the last thing I got was this play suit. This one is really cute. It is a little bit shorter than my other one and it's a t-shirt so I'm excited for this I am really obsessed with the one piece trend I think it's really cute some new balance as a jacket and like a crossbody bag and it's such a vibe so yeah I'm very excited to style this one up as well okay so that is all for this haul um yeah if there's any of the pieces here that you want to see me style so as you know I do my five ways to style videos so if there's any of these pieces that you want to see five different ways maybe like the leather jacket um, the one piece I'm already planning on doing that one anyway um, but yeah if there's any of those pieces you want to see me style in a few different ways please do drop it in the comments down below I would love any of your ideas for Fashion Friday videos I have quite a few but eventually my ideas will run out so I'd love to have some backups when that does happen um, but yeah that's all for today I do hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel um, and I hope you have a lovely weekend and I will see you in a future video bye